All right, guys, if you ever want to grow hydroponic squash inside, no matter what method, if you want to get fruit, there's something really important you got to do, and that's pollinate. We don't have bees in here, guys, so let's do a quick and very, very easy way of showing you how to pollinate these things. Guys, welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Guys, 30 to 40 days from transplant, and we got these babies right here, full-size squash plants growing in a deep water raft inside, already overgrowing a 26-gallon a cement mixing tub reservoir uh, and it is just floating away. I've had one nutrient change on it and uh, refilled it up with a three-part general hydroponics flora series. Uh, parts per million are around 800 parts per million. pH is around 6. They're sitting under lights for 12 hours a day. So if we want to get any kind of fruit production out of this we have to do a couple of things and that's pollination or as some people like to call it sexing their plants okay and this is a variety that needs that in order to get an edible full-size normal looking fruit okay or vegetable if you will so there's a male flower and a female flower and we need to take one and touch the other one with it and it's actually amazingly human looking which will make me turn into a five-year-old child and I will giggle Let's get started. All right. In here, if I can do one of these little numbers here, I've got a little squash growing right there, and I've got a flower right there. Okay, and this is our pollinator, guys. This is uh, the male, and that's the female. And we need to take the male, and we need to pollinate the female with it. And this is super easy, okay? All you got to do... Pick that baby right and is that like not the most beautiful thing in the world I think it is and these leaves are edible so as you pollinate eat the leaves now this little thing right here well you kind of know what it looks like so I'm not gonna eat that but this is essentially what we're going to use to pollinate this baby, okay? And let's go in a little closer. I'll try to focus in on this so it kind of makes sense. All right. So, if I can move this little baby aside like this. Right there's the female part, all right, guys? So, if you can see, we're going to have to do one of these numbers here, right here, okay? No. Actually, we're just going to take this, and we're going to kind of rub around it, tease it a little bit, be gentle with it, all right? And the pollen from this is being inserted in here. You see that? Isn't that nice? My hand in the way? Look at that. See that? And if you do it just right, you will get yourself a squash. Actually, guys, that thing is now pollinated. All right, one quick epilogue here. Because the United States uh, douses its lands with uh, herbicides, fungicides, and especially pesticides, the majority of our bee populations are decreasing by the minute at astronomical rates to the point where we need to farm bees and have bees brought into farms in order for them to pollinate people's crops. That's insane. It's insanity. With the absence of bees comes absence of good pollination. Fruit production and vegetable production goes down. A, a not, an unproperly pollinated squash will get mushy at the end or become deformed and taste bitter and nasty. So this method not only works inside, but it also works outside in the absence of the bees. So if you live in an area where you don't have many, very many bees and you want to grow squash and you want to pollinate, this is a way to hand pollinate them and at least get something out of it. You can also use uh, uh, paint brushes and things and paint brushes q-tips that type of thing taking pollen from one flower and pollinating the uh, the vegetable flower so guys just wanted to give a quick update on that um, 
and get somewhat serious a little bit. So uh, take care of nature, guys, and that it'll take care of you. In the meantime, I hope you guys are having a good grow. Take care. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, comment when you can, and I will see you later. Peace.